Hi, my name is Chrissy. My name is Liv. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Emily. Uh, my name is Archie. I'm Becky. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> I think my definition is quite simple, it's just like, it's just yeah. visual aesthetics, whatever like inspires you, whatever you'd like to look at, whatever you like to create visually is art. Just creating anything becomes art if you just as people going for like concepts or making deep meanings, just come, they come later when you like, well like brand yourself as an artist, like at its core, it's just making something look nice. <laughs> The best form of self expression because you can do it in whatever way you want, like whatever way is creative, it's the way that you can express it through art. If you really are into art, it's like a lifestyle because everything you look at is you see it as a like picture. Um, I'm stealing a Brian Eno quote because he did like a lecture and he just said that art is everything you don't need. I feel like it is a very hard question because. You only sort of know the answer when you've seen a piece of art that actually like stands out to you and it's like the meaning of like how you feel. So I know a lot of friends who have seen art in like galleries and stuff and they're like, that stands out to me, that speaks to me. And it's also, there are people who enjoy looking at art and people who enjoy making art. Mm -hmm. And I feel as though you can fall into both of the categories, but I feel like you fall into one. I feel like I'm the type of person who enjoys making the art rather than looking at it, so I'd say that's what art means to me, making it rather than viewing it. I think it's just a way of so anyone expressing themselves in any sort of means. You could paint, you could draw, you could, you could do anything and you can call it art. And my style, like fashion-wise, I put them very like classic and feminine, but also kind of like really loud and bold and like, I like bright colours. Modern. Studio 54 at the moment is really in like the 70s, so it's really inspirational for me. But now I'm really more on like landscapes. <coughs> Very real. I like handwriting things. I like putting my handwriting into the work that I do. I feel like it makes it much more personal. Taking photos on film, I feel like when you get it developed, for me, as a sort of like excitement that I've taken those photos, that's my stuff using my friends as models because it means there's like a story behind it that I know about and that is personal to them. Just keeping it very like tactile, just not using so much digital stuff but like using the digital stuff to edit it with. Contemporary. I'll see one thing and I'll be like I want to do that, that looks cool. Or I'll see a method of doing something but I want to try that. And I want to try those different things uh, but I wouldn't say that I necessarily have a set art style. I think it just depends on what I'm trying to do. Because I like to do a range of different things, I like to have a broad, a broad variety of things. Kind of like ripping off like old school blogs, like very like analogue digital photography, just kind of like raw, grainy, hot pink and tabloid headlines and disco and platform shoes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cooking. <laughs> Three, two, one. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a test. <laughs> Alice's mic. Sorry, sorry. Oops, that's okay. <laughs> I, think, I don't even really know what contemporary means, but I just know that that's the right one. I know what you mean. Oh. Take two. <laughs> Welcome back. I feel so bad. You just have back, we stopped yeah, filming yeah, for a second. Yeah, I'm so sorry. sorry. It's like no space in the right uni. That was perfect, um, what you said actually. That was perfect. Yay! <laughs>